Okay, this is going to be a short and quick demonstration of how to set up the Exert player for Connect IQ. In this demonstration, we have the Garmin Edge 520, the Garmin Edge 520, as well as a, an old trusty uh, iPhone 4S. Okay. We, can, we can do the installation with um, a, another uh, iPhone or an Android phone. You can even use your uh, Garmin Express on your desktop to do the installation. We're just going to use a phone using Garmin Express Mobile because that's just going to be really easy. All right, and then you can use your Garmin Edge 520, an 820, as well as a Garmin Edge 1000 is supported. All right, so to install the app, we're going to launch Garmin Connect Mobile. We're then going to go to the Connect IQ store, and then from here. We're going to run a search, and we're going to search for the Exert apps. And you see that we have six results. We're going to scroll down, and there's the new Exert workout player. We're going to tap that to install it, download, and then there's a bunch of permissions required by the app. You can go ahead and allow those permissions. And so you'll see here that there it is there. It's syncing with the 520. And then a few seconds later, the sync is complete, and now it's, it's installed on your Garmin device. All right. Now to access the player, a little bit different uh, between the 520 and the A21000. If you're on the A21000, it's very simple. There's a little IQ button when you start it. You just you know, tap that with your finger, and the, uh, the app will show. All right. um, on the 520, it's a little more tricky. You've got to kind of navigate down here to Connect IQ, and then you're going to click on the Connect IQ. You'll then see the uh, Exert player, and then you can select that. Now, the first time it runs, you'll notice here that it needs to log in to your uh, Exert Online account. All right? So the Connect IQ will prompt you on the screen. If you're on an Android, you may have to kind of open up your notification screen to see that. But let's go ahead and sign in. This will open up an internal browser to Garmin uh, Connect Mobile where you would log in. Now, I've already logged in previously, so you'll see here that I don't need to log in. Um, it's already used my credentials, and now all I need to do is authorize this. Okay, so let's go ahead and authorize. And there you have it. Once we've authorized the uh, player app, it's going to obtain your signature. So here's the signature it obtained, as well as going to be um, processing my selected workout. Okay, and now my workout's ready, so I'm, I'm ready to uh, hop on my bike and start my, uh, my, my workout. Now, the next time you run the app, if we back out of this and you go back to this screen, the next time you run the app, th all this process will be automated. So once you click on it, you don't need to log in anymore. It'll log in for you, obtain your, uh, your selected workout, process it with your, your given signature, get it all ready for you, and there you have it. Now that workout's ready. I can now proceed. And here's the, the workout that's been selected, the hardness test level four. I can skip the workout if I just want to ride, um, or here we can actually start the workout. So once you start the workout, um, we'll sh the app will show you, it'll give you your power targets. It will show you your given power output along the slider. It will also show you a slider of your MPA and your target MPA. Heart rate, cadence, speed will be picked up, and your workout and your interval time. Right? Um, now to set up your uh, smart trainer, um, what we're going to do is, is just click here on the back button. On the 1000, you'd simply click on the menu button on 1008 and 820. And we're going to scroll. This is the trainer menu. We're going to slow down to scroll down to select. Go ahead and select our trainer. It'll search for available trainers. And there it found our trainer. We can go ahead and select that. So now the app is configured to um, uh, automatically control your smart trainer. Now this, this isn't a requirement. If you have a smart trainer, obviously you'd want to have that configured, but you can certainly use the app without a, without a smart trainer. With a smart trainer, it'll do the trainer control. We also have other options. So if we go back to the, to the scroll, uh, to the trainer menu, we can control the power, we can control the resistance. We can even turn the control off in the case where we want to run our workout in another environment where the trainer is being controlled, such as if, if you're running Zwift, as an example. Um, so we can go back, we can control the trainer manually in terms of par target power. Nice little con convenience there to control the trainer interactively. And there you have it. A very short and quick demonstration of how to set up Exert uh, Workout Player. Thank you for watching.